Yo, 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 welcome to the Jewels of Bazaar. <laughs> So it's called The Jewels of Bazaar. I'm your host, the legendary Blythe Bazaar. Now, in The Jewels of Bazaar, I'm gonna bring you some crazy music. Oh, yes. You're gonna be getting the creme a la creme. You're gonna get the music I listen to in my personal collection. So, the first artist I'm gonna bring to The Jewels of Bazaar is the legendary most innovative, the king of Bop, Grammy Award winning, Chicago's own Herbie Hancock. Now, Herbie Hancock is a true icon of modern music. Throughout his explorations, he has transcended limitations and genres while maintaining his unmistakable voice. We're talking about the vocoder, everything, people. He does it all. Innovative. His illustrious career is spanning five decades, and with 14 Grammy Awards, this motherfucker's doing it. Oh my god. He has been sampled throughout hip hop. We're talking about the hip hop greats that turned into legends. We're talking about producers like Jay Dilla. Now I'm pretty sure you're familiar with Jay Dilla. He will be coming to the abstraction universe. Oh yes, he will. Oh yes, he will. Now first, we're gonna get into the illest samples. I'm gonna check out Herbie Hancock's Come Running To Me. So we're gonna listen to the sample here and we're gonna see how Jay Dilla flipped it. This is Herbie Hancock's Come Running To Me off his album Sunlight. Let's check it out here. and beating the shit out of that fax machine. Oh my God, you gotta check out Office Space. And on the soundtrack, it featured the legendary hip hop group, Slum Village. And you know what? Jay Dilla was a part of Slum Village and he used to produce for them. They have a track called Get This Money. I wanna check it out right now. I haven't heard it in a while and stuff like that, but I recognize that sample. Let's see what it sounds like. You hear it? You hear it? Yeah, 
that sample. the mega hit group Slum Village. Now, I want to check out something. I want to take you guys back, way back to my childhood. You know how things are really, really intense when you're a child. Now, this track by Herbie Hancock was the most intense. Now, there's a couple things I used to be afraid of that still kind of haunt me and bother me today, and that is Huey Big Adventures, Mars Mars Sand in the truck. No way. And the other one is Herbie Hancock's video, Rocket. Oh my God, with the twitching feet, and the, and the guy that had it, oh my God, when that, oh my God. All right, y'all, let me tell you about a situation. I had to be about seven years old. Pee Wee's Big Adventure just came off. I'm already shook from the large mark. And dead ass, the box comes off. And guess what's requested? What's hot then? Herbie Hancock's Rocket. Yes, sir. Man, I hit behind my mother's coffee table and just, I used to stick my head inside that and try to hide like a freaking ostrich. That video just freaked me out. It starts off with the leg. And from my memory, oh my God, it was too much. I used to think that the legs were coming after me like these disembodied legs. I would be running away and get to my room. And then all of a sudden, that disembodied head would come up and start shaking like House on the Haunted Hill, the remake with Tay Diggs. <laughs> oh my god, I haven't seen that video in a long, long time. And we're gonna check it out here on The Jewels of the Czar. <laughs> so come along with me, come along with me. I'm gonna have a reaction to Herbie Hancock's Rocket. Let's check it out right here on The Jewels. Bizarre. Oh! <laughs> I still remember it. No! No, oh, what's he doing? Check it off! You check it off. I love that groove. It looks like he's straight up masturbating in that bag. Oh no. What is that, a bird? Ew. <laughs> Look at the legs. Dude, no, I don't like it, I don't like it. I gotta stop it, I gotta stop it. All right, all right. I had to stop it, I had to stop it. That is too much. With the lady with the freaking binocular eyes. The bra, it still creeps me out. Roman, y'all, and that still gets me to this day. Herbie Hancock's rocket, mind blowing. <laughs> it's still spooky to this day, I can't even front. I can't even front. Herbie Hancock used to perform rocket live with DJ DTS, scratching live for the audience. Y'all wanna check that out? I wanna check that out on Jewels of Bazaar. Come with me, y'all. <laughs> Okay. Uh. 
Steve is getting down. DTS is killing it. Okay, okay. Fans into it. You got the man with the keyboard in the crowd. <laughs> Man's on the keyboard while it up. Look at those kicking legs. I, saw, I know you saw those kicking legs. I know you saw those kicking legs. Ah, it's freaky, it's freaky, it's freaky. Yeah. They're gonna break out the moves here. Make this swing it through. Look at every hand kind of getting down the leather. <laughs> Peace.